Jesus Christ, that's creepy. Mostly because I wasn't expecting the music to pick back up there. Huh. I wonder if the music is, uh... The same music that was in the Shadow Temple and the Well in Ocarina of Time. I wonder. I don't know. In any case... Always seem to get really rainy and dark nights out here anymore. But that is the next place I really wanted to go. You find islands all over the Great Sea. Well, I guess not all over it, but there's plenty of them that look like this, have a gigantic seashell, and are usually in the shape of a heart. The heart may be facing one way or another, but this one's upright. Ooh, so that's how what works. Huh? Huh? Oh no, that's not how the Wind Waker works. And items, thank you. Didn't want to move over. I think that there is something pretty good out there. It'd be a lot easier to see if it weren't raining. But, out there somewhere... If it weren't nighttime, it weren't raining, and the. There it is. And the seas weren't quite so rocky. Barely make out some figures in the distance, but there's a, another submarine out there. Which I hopefully don't need anything special to take care of. I got mail again? Like, really? This was not moving when I first got to the island. Apparently, the time it took for the day to pass. The game decided that I needed to have mail. Ooh, and it's a granny. No, I'm like on the other side of the world, lady. Nope. Not injured. Just got a piece of heart, so I'm pretty good there. You really don't need to give me all your money, Grandma. That's so nice of you, but I'm doing okay. I mean, 560... Screw off! What a dick, shooting a cannon right at my feet like that. Doing alright, though. And, after talking to this great fairy, I think I'm going to be doing just a bit better. <laughs> Please do so. Great fairies are all, you know, really useful in this game, but... There are three I would say are better than the others. The two money fairies, because it's really important to be able to have a lot of money in Wind Waker. Yeah, like, you know, up to 5,000 rupees. And then there's one that can double your magic meter, which shouldn't be a surprise to you. Sorry if it was, but it really shouldn't have been. And we'll want to go see that one too. But not right now. Right now, I want to go out to that uh, submarine. Where's my boat? Where's my boat? There it is. And there's windfall in the distance. Off on the horizon that I do not care about. Where is Fishman, though? I keep asking myself that all the time. Where is the fish man? Eh, at least you can see the submarine pretty easily from there. Okay, really. Do I, like, blow past him? Is he just on the other side of the island? Yeah, he is. Just on the other side of the island. <sighs> Why you gotta be a dick like that? Come on. Not really getting the most optimal amount of the wind by sailing that direction, but you know what? I really do want to have all this map. Well, mapped out. Yes. C chart. Yeah, whatever. Fine. C chart charted out. Durr. Go. Just give me the thing. See? It's a heart. Northern Fairy Island. And I don't think that there's anything else too interesting here. Ooh. Ooh. 
I would like to get that. Hmm. Looks like I should go back to Windfall sometime. At night. But not tonight. Tonight is for exploring. Tonight is for getting to that island. Not island, uh... No, we don't want to go to that island. That island sucks. That one out there? Yeah, that's the Forsaken Fortress. We've been there before, and we don't want to go back for a while. However, getting to this boat, this barrel, with all of its treasure, is pretty important. Unless it turns out that I can't really do anything about this one. Like, you know, there are enemies in there that would be nearly impossible to beat without certain items, but I don't think that's this one yet. There are some really crazy hard places like that. Because it's not really that hard, it's more that you should get further into the game's main quest line before you, you know, bother. This one doesn't seem like it's so bad. I do want to get my, uh, grappling hook, though. It's worth it to steal from, um, everybody. Alright! <laughs> I'm having a lot of difficulty just getting down here. Uh oh. Got someone's attention? Uh oh. No. No fire. No stabby. Yes, I'll take that. Relieve you of yours as well. And then... I'm just gonna let these guys kill each other, really. Oh, I almost made all that work. It's kind of amazing how everything's been playing out here. You really should not be able to do that. Oh wow, I apparently jumped into his swing. Bastards. I tried to target- okay, apparently we don't want to pick this up. No! Die! I really love throwing enemies' weapons at them. Doesn't always work, but it's fun to do. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Just a bunch of moblins. And I may not have even had to fight them anyway. Because it looks like I can just swing from rope to rope. Well, <laughs> we all know how well that works out for me, so it's probably a good thing I did kill them. In any case, let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah. I think I may decide to try and take advantage of the leaf rather than trying to actually navigate the ropes. Whoa! Well, if I'd done that differently, that probably would have worked. You know like, plan to actually use the leaf instead of mistiming the jump from the rope. Yep. You know, yep. something like this. There you go. Make it up to this cabin, and then they finally give you your reward. Which, I don't think I remember what's here. It's probably a treasure chart. Yeah, there we go. Treasure chart. So, it's sort of ridiculous, because it's like, yeah, I get a reward. Later, I get a reward. However, this place does seem to have its own, like, innate wind. It's kind of pushing... Like, you can even see it in the clouds. Mist, dust, whatever. It's just sort of pushing that direction all the time. Whatever. Still, I was able to use the leaf. Okay. I think that I want to go back to Windfall now. I mean, sure, there's stuff to do elsewhere, specifically, like, you know, the main story. But, uh, for now, I want to go to Windfall. So I'm just going to see you guys there. Ah, nice sunrise. 
Too bad you guys don't get to experience anything during the day, apparently. Like, everything happens at night. I guess it's just like real life. Okay, well, now we're finally back to Windfall. And there's really only one thing I want to do right now. Well, doing this one thing is going to lead to doing more, but first things first. Actually, I never did talk to this poor old man and listen to his tale of woe. Or maybe I did. I don't know. I know I told him no at one point, and it was hilarious. So, his daughter has been, or granddaughter, I guess, has been taken to, uh, the Forsaken Fortress, just like her sister. And we can almost guarantee that you saw her. Really? Our kidnap daughter. Okay, fine. And you're really that worried about money? Yes, they'll pay for what they've done. They seem to be a little obsessed with money. Now I want to go talk to someone else that, you know, this guy's sort of spurred my interest in a little bit. We'll be wanting to come back to this room later at night. For now, actually, this isn't the right way to go. It is the right building, but not the right entrance. At least I'm pretty sure it's the right building. Anyway. Oh, hey, look. This guy's opened up a shop. That has more than one thing. Uh. Okay. Then why are you standing there? If you want to be talked to over here. Oh, well, good. Well. Yeah, that, you know, that's sort of how these things work. It takes time and effort. <laughs> well, you could also have more than one thing, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, too bad. See you later. I don't want to deal with that stuff right now. We'll probably have to do a lot of that at another time. As is, I really don't feel like dealing with the, uh... I think that there's, like, an entire item trading sequence that stems from him. And, honestly, just forget that. Wow. This guy's, uh... Really seemed down in the dumps, dude. Uh, we'll do what? Okay. Well, that sucks. Kind of sounds like the other guy. Well, it's really not that hard to get there. It's just hard to get anything done there. Hmm. Uh, sure. Yep, I'm super brave. Okay. Wow. That, that that would be a lot of money. You seem like you're incredibly rich. So, sure, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'm already going to the First Second Fortress anyway, but if you want to give me extra reward and money, sure. I mean, not going to complain about that, right? Okay. Now, for real, the whole reason I even came back to Windfall is because of our disco dancing friend we met last time. We... No, 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 shut up, shut up, no. Stuff your face before I fill it with steel. <sighs> we needed to talk to this guy with the pretty happy rainbow symbol on his back and sleeves and legs. I think this guy really likes rainbows. Also, the 70s. <laughs> also, dancing! The world's most charismatic dancer extraordinaire! 
Hmm. You, uh, I don't know. I don't think your rhythm is quite what it needs to be. Uh-huh. You know what? I bet I do. I bet it's something like this. Uh-uh, cha. Yep. So, right, left, and down. So, wonder what happens if we play that with the Wind Waker. Clearly nothing important. Now we get the Song of Passing. Yeah, do it. Bring on the night. Uh... Apparently, you know, dancing it isn't good enough. However, I can totally immediately hit the wrong note. There we go. If you do play the Song of Passing, you will, of course, take it from day right on into night.